Welcome back to Highline Excel class number 52.5. Hey, we just want to talk a quick note before we go on to a bunch of uh, more macros about macro security. I'm going to go to the developer ribbon. And right here, there's our record macro, relative references, and macro security. Let's click on this. And we have, whoops. We have four settings here. I have mine set on this, which is quite dangerous. That means enable all macros, because if you download something from the internet or get something from someone, uh, it might have a macro that could do some damage to your computer. So this one won't check anything. That just means uh, any macro could run any time. Disable all macros except for digital, digitally signed macros, then you'd have to digitally sign them. Disable all macros with notifications. This is the notes I have in our workbook, and this matches uh, earlier versions. You'll get a message when it detects a macro. And so this is the one that's probably pretty good. And then you can disable all macros without notification, so they're just all not working. Let's go ahead and change it to that setting. And then I'm going to click OK. And then you have to close it. And when we open it up the next time in 2007, uh, we'll see a uh, an options uh, like a grayed out button up here. In 2003, you have to go to the uh, Tools menu and then Macro and then Macro Security. So we're going to go ahead and close this and then open it back up. I'm going to click Yes. Uh, this is just saying, hey, uh, since we're using .xls, there may be some uh, formatting or other differences. This actually matches up. It says what uh, in 2007 might not look the same or work at all in earlier versions. I'm going to click Continue. And then in uh, 2007, I can use this trick. Click on the orb, and then there's a, a list of recently opened files. And uh, there it is right now. There it is. I'm going to open it. Ah, there it is. A, a security warning macros have been disabled. I'm going to click this Options. And I'm going to say Enable Content. This is a, just a dialog box in earlier versions. It's not a, a gray bar up here like this. And then click OK. So in general, that's the level you want to uh, keep your workbooks. And then you can choose. If there's a macro in there, you can choose to run dis disable it or enable it. All right, uh, in our next video, we'll do a bunch of uh, cool macros. See you then.